moving on to the next question question 23 a selection is to be made for the for one post of principal and two post of vice principal so for principal p there is one post and for vice principal there is two post and among the six candidates called for interview only two candidates are eligible for the post of principal while they are all eligible for the post of vice principal the number of possible combination of the selection is so there are six candidates let's split them into two and four uh, only these two are eligible for principal post so and all are eligible for vice principal post so question is asking um what are the total number of possible combinations since there are only two people available for principal post let's choose one by one in random say they are labeled one and two and we will choose one when one is selected for the principal post there are five candidates left for vice principal post and we have to select two people from them so that is a classic way of saying 5c2 so when one is the principal there is 5c2 ways to select vice principal so which is 5 into 4 2 into 1 that is 10 similarly when 2 is selected as the principal again there is 5c2 ways to select uh, principal five people uh, being this four and uh, the second uh, since two is selected as principal person one so four plus one that's how five so five c2 ways in selecting vice principal so total 10 ways so in total there is 10 plus 10 20 ways to select uh, uh, combinations of select so there is no options 20 so the correct answer is d solution to question 23 is d so in case uh, if you are not familiar with the 5c2 how 5c2 uh, 5c2 came here so we had five people and two post post so how will we select two people from among the five people so their order is irrelevant we have to select two people uh, from this five people so that is how 5c2 comes uh, an explanation is say there are two people post and there are five people so if we if we want to uh, uh, select f uh, one person to this post among the five people we have five here five choices to make so one person is selected that is done and now we have to fill in this post so uh, now what we ha are left with is four choices so we have four choices so in total we have five people to uh, we, we have we can we could have choose five different people for this post and once that person is selected we are left with four people so in total we have 20 combinations but in this 20 combinations what happens is that there is some repetitions so say we will name these five people one two three four and five so in this five people say we chose uh, one for the first first post and five for the last post so in another combination that is inside this 20 cases is we chose five for the first post and one for the last post so though in 20 cases these two are separate cases we uh, for us it doesn't matter these two are same cases since we just want to select two people the order of them is irrelevant so to so we have selected so many duplicate cases like this so similarly we have selected two three and three we counted two three and three to us another possibility in twin, in this 20 so so you if you see uh, there is exactly 
a duplicate for each combination so we have to divide with 2 to get the actual number which is 10 this is how phi c2 comes so in phi c2 what we do is uh, to get this uh, we'll, we we need phi into 4 right so for that we first phi factorial uh, and divide with this lower number which is 2 factorial and then to remove the duplicates we will divide with this uh, sorry phi we will sorry which is not 2 factorial it is phi minus 2 phi minus 2 factorial which is 3 factorial and then to remove the duplicates we will divide with this 1 by 2 factorial or ncr can be found, found out by n factorial by n minus r factorial into r this is the formula so how this formula came is what i explained try to explain here whenever we want to choose uh, some n r amount from n we choose we use the combination ncr if the order is irrelevant we go with combinations and if the order is relevant then we go with permutation which becomes npr which is permutation uh, if if we want to choose r items from n objects and that the order the order in which we choose is relevant we go with npr the formula for npr is n factorial by n minus r factorial so if you see the only thing we divided to avoid the duplicates or since the order was not relevant we divided it with 2 right which is 2 uh, two factorial so if you compare the formulas of permutation and combination you can see only r factorial is uh, dividing with r factorial is the only difference that is uh, that order is irrelevant in the combinations and order is relevant in find, uh, permutations these are the formulas so i just try to just um, push the idea of permutation and combination in in a small time frame so i know it could be um, very confusing for many if uh, the concept of permutation and combination is confusing to you or how i applied this combination concept of permutation and combination in this question if you have any doubt comment on it i will try to do a separate video on it so anyway in this question uh, the solution is d none of the above the uh, total number of selections that can be made is 20 uh, it is not in the options so d question 23 d